Hello and welcome to Mini Painting with Re. In today's video I am going to show you my tools for mini painting. So what I put my stuff in is I have an ordinary tool box which has two compartments so let's start with the red tray. So in here I have a mixture of things starting off with green stuff. I've recently invested in this, it's army painter green stuff and when mixed together it can be used to sculpt and also fill in the gaps on your miniatures. Um, next I have a large-ish brush and I mainly use this to apply shades to my bases due to its large surface area and it holds quite a lot of paint. Next I have my Vallejo plastic putty which I use as a gap filler. So all you do is you'll squirt this into the gaps and wipe away any excess with a damp brush. So next in my box, most essential item is some clippers and these are used to snip away any um, of your plastic parts away from the sprue. And next we have my very trustworthy hand drill and I use these to drill any gun barrels or holes. Um, this comes with a set of little drill bits varying from really thin ones to really thick drill bits. Next we have a variety of glues. So I use um, various glues depending on what I'm gluing and they're all pretty much plastic glue. So I have a Revel one here, which this one's quite good because it's got like a really thin nozzle so it can get into like gaps and seams and I can use that sometimes to help seal the gaps in the model. And I also use some super glue which I use to um, glue my miniatures onto the base. It gives it a more of a sturdier hold. And I've recently acquired some thin, very thin cement from, is it MIG or oh, Ammo? Um, I got this from my local game shop. I'm yet to try this, but apparently from what I've heard, it's got a really, really good um, stick to it. And it and it's basically, it can glue your miniatures parts together in a very quick amount of time. Next, we have some tweezers which I use these um, to help me put smaller parts together because my, my fingers are a bit big. Next, I have a variety of dry brushes. So these ones I use for on the models sometimes because they're quite small, so they can get in to like little of the um, crevices that I need dry, like for parts that I need dry brushing. I also have this texture brush thing that I got from uh, my local gaming shop. It's a Citadel one and I use this to apply any texture paints to my bases because it doesn't stick to it. Next, again, this is another essential item, is my hobby knife. And I use this to cut bits off the sprue if they're too delicate for the clippers. And I also use it to scrape away the mold lines. I also have a spare blade somewhere. So that's it for the top part of my compartment of my toolbox. So I also have like various brushes. They all have various different things. I also have a bit of spare parts of orcs in here too. I don't know why. So yeah, that's the top part of my toolbox. And next we're going to go into the main body of the toolbox. So in here I have more larger things. So I have a pair of gloves. Um, I normally wear a glove on my left hand um, just to stop any oils and stuff from my hand getting onto my miniature. Um, and I also use gloves for priming, so none of the primer gets onto my hands. I also have in here some grass tufts, which I use for my bases. Um, I'm going to try them out, actually. But on my next um, project, I am going to be putting these on my Nurgle army. Next, we have some brand new paintbrushes. I have two packs of these. And I also have an old pack of brushes just for anything, if I want to paint anything or use anything, I use the older brushes so my newer brushes don't get ruined and so that they don't lose their point. I also have some larger makeup brushes, which again, I use these for dry brushing, mainly for larger models or for bases because they have quite a big surface area and it gets the job done quicker than one of the smaller ones. Next, I have lots of random things in this part of the box. So next I have some florist wire, which I use when I want to pin my miniatures because um, I can't find any paper clips anywhere, which is quite bizarre. So I just use them. I also have some parchment paper, which I use for my wet palette. You can check out this video to see how to make your very own wet palette. I also have a box of like little bits of gravel, which I got from my hobby shop. 
Um, so I use these for basing my miniatures. So I've used them on my orcs to give them more of a rockier look um, on the bases. So I just put these in a little tub. They came in a really big bag, but I only needed a small amount with me. I also have some files which I use to file away the mould lines or if I needed to flatten any areas down. Each of the files has a different um, like method of filing. So some are flat, some are pointed, some are rounded. So depending on where I'm filing will depend what file I'm using. And for large areas, I use a larger file, but nail files will also be really good to do the job with. I also have a Citadel painting handle. I just find this easy to grip um, onto and also to place my models on. And it gives me a good 360 degree view of my models. So essential tools really for a toolbox is some snippers to cut off bits of the sprue, some glue to glue your models together, a hobby knife to scrape away those mould lines and also some paintbrushes so you can paint your miniatures. Thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and also subscribe to my channel to so you can see some more mini painted related videos. So that's it for now and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!